What's up, guys? Welcome to the Crypto Savvy channel. I'm Craig, and we're going to be going over the Bitcoin chart. Also, take a quick look at the Dow Jones, DXY. And at the end of the video, we'll take a look at our longer term Ethereum, Litecoin, and XRP charts. Also, gold and silver at the end. Those charts are all super old. They're playing out beautifully. Um, if you guys want to see the extended, the macro view, definitely check out any of my other videos. We've been talking about it for a long time, but I wanted to make this a quick Friday video so you can get on with your weekend. All right, so we are in the pre-markets right now. The Dow futures are down 108, S&P down 14, and NASDAQ down 56. Now, we're going to take a look at the Dow Jones. As you guys know, we are just hovering around our 30,700 target. I do believe once we break this uh, falling wedge again, our next target is going to be around the 25,881. Although this is Friday, they could pump the markets, and I'll tell you what to expect if that happens, but we're going to dig in. If you guys watched yesterday's video, it played out pretty damn well. Let's take a look at the DXY. Still looking bullish here. Now, could this be an ABC um, and we come back down for one more low? And if that was to happen, where would that be? Let's put a target on there. Uh, somewhere around the 103 range. It's very possible to get a quick dump here if we get a pump in the market, but then continue on back up. But I do believe at some point here, we're going to break this 105. Our next target's 106. Um, if, as this goes up, Bitcoin should go down traditional markets also. As I said, you guys know my longer view. All right, before we get into Bitcoin, make sure you guys check out PrimeXBT if you haven't already, by far my favorite exchange. They don't trade against you. Um, you can trade Forex, Gold, Silver, Oil, S&P, Dow Jones, everything all from one exchange. You can have multiple trades in. They don't clump them together. I do have a tutorial on my page. Definitely check that out. Um, you can you can trade for free in the contest section to get used to the platform. You can use my promo code SAVVY50 to get you up to a $7,000 bonus. SAVVY25 will get you 25% off your trading fees. Definitely check them out if you have it. All right, let's take a look at what's going on. So we have two four-hour charts to look at, just like we did yesterday. We're going to talk about what happened and what we're expecting before we get into Ethereum, Litecoin, XRP, Gold, and Silver. All right, so... What we're looking at here is possible bear flag or possible triangle here. And if we take the measured move of that, if we are to break that 17.5 range, which I think it may get one more bounce there, and I'll explain that in the next chart. But if we do break that, our next target is going to be around the 13.3, according to this chart. And then if we look at this whole thing as a flag pull, this being the bear flag here, um, if we do drop past that 17.5, first target's going to be 13.3, and then 9,400. Now, if we look at this as a bear flag, we bring this down, that could get us as low as the 5,700. We talked about this yesterday, coming back up to retest this trend line on the RSI. We did pop above it, but we did close back down below. And let's take a look at what happened. So as you guys know, here is my my bigger picture, uh, this was what we talked about yesterday, coming up to retest this, we did get a fake out, but if you were paying attention yesterday, let's zoom in. I've been talking about this possibly making an, a descending triangle or a bigger bear flag. Now, uh, we had talked about these targets yesterday. I said if we got above this 20, I said expect a pump. I didn't think it would happen this fast, but either way, this looks just like another ABC. Um, it shouldn't have got past 20,986. It did hit our uh, FIB right here, which is our 0.236, and got a major rejection. Like I said, we were expecting this at some point, and I'll show you why. We're going to clean this up a little bit. We're going to take this off, uh, take these targets off now, and just show you what I'm looking at. So this is what I was talking about. I drew this in um, about... I think it was Wednesday on Wednesday's video, what we could be looking at here. But now that it's forming better, we can take a look at that. So what do we have here? If this, if we do, I think no matter what, we're going to come back down and retest this. Unless we break above this trend line. If we break above this trend line, then we have our 24.5 target that I still believe will hold as major resistance if that was to happen. But let's take a look at what we got here. Uh, we're going to put this in. I'm going to show you how these work. So we had an A, B, C right here. 
and then we had another A, B, C here. We get another one here. A, that was our B, and then we look for C down, and then we should get, if this plays out like this, we should get another A, B, C up to here, and then after that, just a continuation to the downside and break this low. Once we break this, put this back up a little bit. So once we break this low, and guys, these aren't exact numbers, but I'm gonna show you with the fibs where I'm expecting. But anyways, why do I think this is happening? This is what forms in an uh, descending triangle, right? It's a bunch of three wave structures on the way down. So we're on every pump, everyone will get bullish again, just like they did last night on this. Uh, we were expecting this. If you belong to my Discord group, links down below. I did uh, show my shorts in there when I told everyone I was shorting in here. Again, I don't do the trades for you to follow my trades. I think that's irresponsible. That's why I don't post a lot of them because a lot of people, your situation's different, your risk tolerance is different. Um, if you are not, using your own strategy and you're just following somebody else's calls or somebody else's trade signals, you're gonna lose your ass if you don't know how to trade. You need to learn this stuff on your own. You're not gonna join some group that's gonna make you rich. That's not how trading work. It takes years of practice. Anyways, let's take a look at this. So if this is an ABC, we should have a one-to-one -one extension. And let's take a look at where that would take us. We go from the top up here, which would be A, and then the bottom here, which would be B, and then up to where we got rejected here. And that one-to-one -one extension is right around that 17.5, 17.6. Again, if we get a bounce there, we'll probably get another ABC up to retest this trend line, depending on how long it takes, maybe up to the 20,300, 20,400, 20,500 range. This could take um, all weekend for this to form, so uh, be aware of that. Anyways, that gets us down to the one-to-one. -one. If this breaks, Guys, I'm looking for lower targets and I'll tell you what those are. But remember, at any time, if this top trend line breaks, this is invalidated. But what we do here, we take a measured move of this triangle. And if we break that 17.5, that gets us down to around the 11.8 to $12,000 range. I would expect a bounce there, uh, maybe even come all the way back up and retest the bottom of this at 17.5 before continuing down. But if that was the case, then we would look at this whole thing as another big bear flag, and that would get us down to around that 5,500. That's what I'm looking at there. Let's take a look at Ethereum. Ethereum, as you guys know, these charts are about seven months old. Um, our target is still around that 680 for a bounce. Maybe come back up and test this range, but once this breaks, I think it's uh, really, really bad news for Ethereum. As you guys know, I think we're in a long-term bear market. I think the actual bottom is gonna be in middle or end of 2023. Uh, Bitcoin, I think between three and 7,000 is a good possibility. Let's look at, if it goes down a lot quicker than that, then I might change my view. But either way, I keep you guys updated. Make sure you smash those thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. And here is Litecoin. We've had this target again for seven months since we broke up in these ranges. Uh, around 24 bucks again, could go much, much lower. And XRP, I believe when XRP, next time it breaks this trend line, our next bounce area is around 17. Again, much, much lower if we are in the longer term bear market. Um, gold, I talked about this for a long time. Anything below this rising channel is bearish. Our target, this chart is actually about a year old. Our target's been around 1561, still looking for that. And could go much, much lower also. So we did finally break our $20 range for uh, silver. Our next point is 15.5. We may be bounce around in this area for a while, but again, this chart's uh, pretty, this chart's about a year old too also. We made these targets uh, when we broke down here from 25.7, so looking pretty good. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Make sure you share the video if you enjoy the content. Subscribe, smash that thumbs up, leave your comments down below. Have a great weekend, and I'm out.